All right, moving on to new business. Uh, this first ordinance, Ordinance 2017-1 on affordable housing, an ordinance for the Township of Mendham in the County of Morris and State of New Jersey amending affordable housing regulations. This is going to look familiar. Uh, it's on for first reading. It will be on for second reading February 28th. It looks familiar because it's been on the agenda before. Uh, we pulled it off the agenda in order to take an overview look at our uh, uh, affordable housing ordinance. About the time we were doing that, the court has come up with different uh, uh, remedies for affordable housing. So it's a much more complicated situation. So we're putting this back on the agenda. This is basically to define um, any penalties that will be put in place if the affordable housing regulations are uh, not complied with. So may I ask for a motion? Motion. Second? Second. Discussion? Uh, Mayor, I, I did read through this. And I did not know that uh, you could be in jail for not following the affordable housing ordinance that we, we passed. If, if, you, uh, if you, the committee, decide to put the ordinance, the draft ordinance in place the way, the way it's written, you could. And the reason is that within the approved violation list for any ordinance violation, the, the maximum penalties are a fine of $500 and possible imprisonment at the discretion of the judge. I mean, if you had someone, you, the committee, or we, the, the township, had someone who was a flagrant violator, for example, moving out of their affordable housing and renting it for profit, and they, after a point in time, refused to uh, comply, I mean, it might not be inappropriate. Okay, just one little clarification from um, council. I, just a couple of questions. How many units do we have in town that qualify under this ordinance? Do we, do we know the number of, of 2,200 households in the township? How many would qualify being regulated by this particular ordinance? Uh, I don't know how many we have as uh, affordable housing. It's a fair number. Yeah, I, I it's by right. something like that. It's eight in, in the one area. Yeah. and There's one over in Brook Race. Mm -hmm. We have 12 in Brook Race, I think. Yeah. Right. We, we have any history of the activities that are trying to be prevented here? I know we have Since to have the that. housing partnership warrant is asking us to put these penalties in place, I assume there must be some okay. motivation for that. Okay. And the uh, the one and a quarter percent fee for the housing partnership is the township. Where does that money? That would come from the seller. Right from the seller. But where does it does it find its way into our local budget, or does that go into the housing? No, that goes to the housing partnership. A hundred percent of it. Yes. Okay. Yes. Because they're involved with marketing the property and. So when you sell your property, you have to go through this, this partnership to sell yes. it? So you need, this is basically a commission? Yes. And um, the housing partnership also benefits the seller because they're providing qualified buyers. And currently for, say, a, a one-bedroom unit, um, the qualifying income is around $31,000 a year. So, you know, they're, they're maintaining lists and also marketing to people who would be qualified to purchase the units. Any other questions? Um, Madam Mayor, yes. uh, does, um, Councilor, do, does this have anything to do with the recent judgment by the New Jersey uh, court system uh, regarding the whole COA issue? This particular ordinance does not, but that decision you referenced was why I hesitated in, on allowing the committee to pull the trigger on this ordinance when it first came up for initial introduction. Be because I wanted to take a look at where we stood with, the, with regard to the total instability of the entire COA picture. And I've concluded that that instability will continue to be a fact <laughs> of normalcy for such a period of time that we might as well just go ahead and put this Band-Aid in place and we'll fix it all when we know what the rules are going to be. So we'll review the overall ordinance at the proper time? Once we have some mm -hmm. guidelines, yes. Okay, very good. So we have a motion and a second. Uh, if there's not any other discussion, roll call vote, please. Mr. Bauman? Yes. Mr. Topatini? Yes. Mr. Dignan? Yes. Mr. Geyser? 
Yes. And Mayor Orban Brown. Yes.